Hey everybody, hope all is well. New moon in Aries. <sighs> this energy here. Wait for some of you guys to come on so I can go ahead and start speaking because you guys know I hate to repeat myself. <laughs> so new moon in Aries. I want to give you guys like a great ritual as well as just some a sense of enlightenment so you can understand what's happening in new moon. Aries moon flash. Ugh. It's not bad. It's just wait for some more of you guys to come on. Hey Sonda. <laughs> hey. So we're in a new moon energy. The new moon energy is gonna go on for the next two days. So it started on the fifth, which was yesterday. The energy began to manifest around the fourth. Um, it goes through around the sixth, fifth, sixth, around the seventh. It, it lingers on around the seventh. So new moon in Aries. This should be fun. All right, you guys. So. I just got to teach in my class. I had a class, a master spiritual class this morning, which was a lot of energy, but I felt the necessity, it, it was a necessity to, I, I just felt it was important to do this video. So, because a lot of you guys are in a position right now where you have been, um, you are being tested, meaning you're in a position where you might be facing some type of obstacle. Mm -hmm. Hold on, wait a minute. Turn on my notifications. There we go. So, a lot of you guys might be in a position right now where you're facing like some sort of obstacle. Obstacle where it's almost like, okay, so what do I do next? What happens next? Um, there's a position, you might be in a situation where it's almost like, okay, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> like it may seem like almost like a situation where it's almost like okay well you're being tested the bottom line is you're being tested so it's almost like oh my kendo so kendo's in dr right now he's a dr guy he likes to go to dr often <laughs> Dude, that's my buddy Kendall, he's a DR guy. He prefers to be in DR versus states. <laughs> Anyways, so we're in a state right now where we're being tested. Everybody's being tested. So this new moon is about, okay, so you know what you want. You're saying that you want this. You're saying that you want that, right? You're saying that you want to be in this, in this spot, this position. You're saying that you want to be a certain uh, type of person. However, can you handle it? I mean, can you handle it? So we're in New Moon Aries. New Moon Aries is all about action. It's about action. It's about going. It's about it's like going for what you want. It's about um, it's, it's 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 about like you feel this urge to that like you may have been put in a position where it's almost like okay, so I feel like I'm stuck, but I have the tools. How do I come out of it? But you actually have the tools. So you have to figure out, like, literally, like, what those tools, how to use your tools. Like, how are you going to use your tools? So you already have the tools. So for all you guys who are going through situations right now where you feel like you're stuck and you're like, I don't know why this is happening to me or something has occurred to you that made you put, it's almost like, it's, it's like, it's almost like it's, it's like forced you into a position to make you use your tools. It's like you have to learn how to use your tools. This whole moon this new moon is about you succeeding about you going to to new levels to new steps to going to new um to new atmospheres to it's like taking risk to being who you're meant to be but now you're being forced into it so if, if you're in a position where you're like you feel like you are like your back is against the wall where you're uncomfortable and right now in this moment you're uncomfortable you have the tools to come out of that however you have to use them you have to figure out how to use them you got to be door Hell, all Dora had was a backpack and a monkey. And some, I mean, she had a backpack, a monkey, and some, I, I think she had a map too. And she made her way. And so you have to find your way. You have to go ahead and use that map. You have to use that monkey, <laughs> that book bag. You have to use your tools. You have to come out of it. 
So this whole new moon energy is all about you going and succeeding and being who you need to be and be in a happy space, like be in a place like where you are actually happy, satisfied, where you feel good. If you're in a place right now where you feel stuck, you have the tools. You are placed in that stuck place intentionally to provoke you into using your tools to go into a different space, a different platform, a different atmosphere. That's just how it goes. But if you choose to stay there, if you, if you choose to stay stuck, then guess what? You're going to go through some new lessons, some more lessons, some lessons that are necessary for you to get the fucking picture. <laughs> That's how it goes. So new moon energy is all about you. It's like a blank canvas. It's, it's, it's your time to manifest. It's your time to figure out like what you want to bring into your life, what you want to manifest into fruitation. It's like, I don't know. What do you want? What do you want? So you have to figure that out first. What do you want? Okay. So figure out what you want. Write it down. Write it down. Don't do anything realistic. I have people pray for stuff that they don't even believe they can have. You got to get into a space of confidence don't pray for something or ask for something that you don't believe you can have because it will never come. If you don't believe that you can be successful or happy in a happy relationship, prosperous, healthy, and healthy weight, if you don't believe that's even possible, don't even ask for it. It's not going to ever happen. So you have to get into a place, a state where almost like you have to go into make believe. What do you believe you can have? What do you believe is yours? It's like, what's yours? Once you believe and know what's yours, that's when you can manifest successfully and it shall come. It will come. And this is the perfect time. We're in a state, we're in the moon of Aries. That's what Aries is all about. Aries is a go-getter. Aries is persistent. Aries does not give up. Aries is, is that the most successful people on this planet naturally are where it should come naturally are Aries and Sagittarius. If you're Aries or Sagittarius and you're not successful and you're broke, it's something wrong. <laughs> I'm telling you something wrong. You have a block. There's something wrong. If you're Aries or Sagittarius and you're broken, you're struggling, you're not doing the right thing. You're not on your path to your purpose. I'm just being honest with you. Sagittarius and Aries are the most successful people on this planet because they have that drive, that ambition, that it's it's about it's all about it's all about success. And you move into the next level, the next steps, you achieving what it is that you said you were going to achieve, being successful, going after it, achieving it, grasping it, achieve I mean just this acquiring it. That's what this moon is all about. So if you're in a state where you feel stuck, this moon is supporting you. It's supporting you to move out of that stagnation, to go into a place not if you're complacent. Not It's, it's supporting you to come out of a stagnation, um, a stationary stand, and to go into something where there's more movement. And there's more like you're just going, 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 going. It's supporting that, but you have to know what you want. You have to understand it, but at the same time, you have to accept it. It may not come in a form that you understand it. It may not come in a form where it, it, it just may not come how you may expect it, but it's going to come. So what I do or what I did for this new moon is, and it's actually, it, it was like yesterday morning. So what I did was I sat down. And I thought about what it is that I really want to see happen in the next 30 days. So it's the best time to manifest is at a new moon. In a new moon so with the new moon cycle, again, it's, it's a blank canvas. So if you manifest during that time cycle, you're manifesting for the next 28 days. Okay. So if you manifest something, if you're focusing on something that you really want to achieve, that, that, that you really want to happen, it's going to happen. But in this moon, it's about growing to the next level, coming out of that stagnation. So 
I would recommend for you guys who are in um, this energy or who are open-minded to this energy, if you're going to manifest, manifest to move on from your stagnation. If you are in a place where you're stuck, just ask the universe or God, however you resonate, to help you to push forward to go into the next level. You don't even have to know what that level is. You don't even have to know like what that step is, but just ask to be pushed into the next level to achieve what it is that you need to achieve to get you out of that stuck state. Because a lot of you guys that are in a stuck state, this is the moon for you to come out of it, to come out of the quicksand, out of the tar pit. Like, I mean, it's, 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 it's a time. All you have to do, know what you want. And if you, do, and if you don't know what you want, just ask to be brought out of it because you're in Aries moon. This is Aries energy. This is about going, achieving, accomplishing, and success. That's how Aries are. Aries don't give up for shit. But Aries are the, the hardest workers. Like they work hard. They keep going. They they if they are the ones that will achieve what they want to achieve if they want to achieve it. Now, lazy Aries will be homeless. They have nothing and always be struggling. But an Aries that is a like real Aries in the right energy, they'll always achieve everything. They'll achieve everything. They'll keep going. They will manifest and they will get whatever they want. And that's what this moon energy is about. So again, I'll repeat it one more time. If you're a person who is in a stuck state, what I would recommend, what I always do, I always recommend writing. Take a pen and paper. Just write down, even if you don't know what it is, write down, ask the universe to take you out of a stuck state into your purpose. And then you will manifest that within the next 28 days. You'll know what your next move is. You'll know what you have to do. Now, if you don't do it, that's on you. But you will know it will be presented to you in some type of way. That's just how it goes. So, I'm going to do a quick video for you guys. I had an event to go to that was working <laughs> and I went over, but I wanted to just go ahead and just like, because it was necessary to do this video. Because some of you guys, I mean, I get it. But you're like, I want to do more. I want to do better. I want to achieve this. I want to achieve that. But I'm like, but you're like, how do I do it? How is it going to happen? I don't know what to do. So what's next? How do I move forward? And this has been a stagnant energy. We just came out of a crazy ass retrograde. Like this retrograde was very intense. This retrograde was crazy. We just came out of it. So now you're at a state where you like, you know, you want more, you know, you have to do more, you know, there's something that's, that's different. You know, there's something more. However, you're like, but what? And so this energy is supporting it. This new moon is supporting that. you moving out of that. <laughs> so use your power. Use your intuition. Use your gifts. Come on, door. Our door row. I mean, I know some of you guys, you know. I know there's men in here too. But seriously, like, I mean, but use your power. Move on to the next level. Use this energy. This energy is here for us. Whether you believe it or not, it's still here. So, I mean, we're manifesting no matter what. I mean, whether you believe it or not, we're always manifesting. So take advantage of this power and this energy. Get out of that stagnation. Move to the next level so that you can be happy. Be in a place where you feel successful and, and fulfilled. Like, so this is for the message. This message is for whoever who needs it. You know, and that's and that's always been my intention. Whoever needs this message will receive it. Point blank, period. So... You guys be blessed. I will talk to you soon and have a good weekend. Bye. Ah, there you go. That's I want to end. <laughs>